So hey guys, it's me Grand Original Game Boy, your host for this video. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey Walkthrough Part 21. Uh, so I'm playing this game after 21 days. So I don't like remember exactly much. And this is definitely a kind of game where you want to complete it in one go. Like motherfucker, bro. You serious? This chicken shit attacking me for real, bro? Really? What the fuck Bro. So we're gonna continue our campaign from where we left last time. I was saying I don't remember much, but I remember definitely something. And this game is uh, some kind of game which you should complete in one go. Like you should not, uh, you cannot like play this game for one week, leave this game for one week, then come back another week. Like you really want to complete this game in one go so you will enjoy it to the fullest and yeah we're gonna continue our quest and the priest of Ascalipos that's how I say it Ascalipios Ascalipos Pios I don't know how to say it yeah so we're gonna track this quest and do it. Let's get started. Okay, I need to call my bird. My eye from up high. I need to talk to him. Alright, found one. There he is. Found one more. There are three. There should be one more. Huh. Interesting. Okay, uh, when I'm here, I should unlock the fast travel. The sanctuary of Asclepios, god of medicine. Oh. I don't trust a physician than a god to heal me. <laughs> if you're here for your purification bath, you'll have to come back another time. I'm here for information. In that case, you can go straight to Hades. I need to know about a Spartan woman who came through here many years ago. I have seen this somewhere, bro. Shit in your ears. I'm under strict orders not to talk to any mercenaries, especially not about Spartan women or injured babies. You know something. I never mentioned the baby. Think you're so smart? Many women pass through with babies. Now leave me. I have my own problems to deal with. Maybe I can help you. Snakes! Snakes. They're everywhere. Must have escaped from the Tholos. We keep them for treatments, but they invaded the bathhouse. The snakes killed someone? A patient was purifying himself when they slithered in. Turns out he's terrified of snakes. Fell over dead. Now the snakes have made him their home. What if I took care of your snake problem? Would you talk to me then? Oh, most definitely. The purification bath is crucial in the path towards healing. Uh, what about the bath? What does taking a bath have to do with healing the sick? Asclepios only visits the dreams of the pure. When the sick arrive, they offer sacrifice, cleanse their bodies in the bathhouse. Only then do we let them rest in the Abaddon, where Asclepios appears and heals them. all these snakes get loose and why are there so many at the sanctuary blame Dorios he's supposed to keep them in the Tholos patients with afflictions of the mind are healed by the snakes their tongues are like kisses from the gods I'll clear out these snakes in no time Icarus could use a good feast try not to kill them Dorios will be furious if you sacred snakes get chopped to beats. Then how am I supposed to deal with them? Snakes are drawn to the bath's heat. Flood them with cold water and they'll slither back to their home. There's an underground pipe that may help you. All right. I'll take care of your snake problem. Then you'll tell me what I need to know. So I did a huge mistake, bro. This is not part 21, this is supposed to be part uh, 
18 or 7 18 yeah this is supposed to be part 18 so yeah bro my bad in there so before it's gonna be part 17 that's me okay all good my bad guys my bad I got some misunderstanding in there Hold up Fast trail is always nice. Hello. Greetings, young one. Come to offer us Clipios a sacrifice? No. But I'm searching for a Spartan mother who may have. The great goddess Ira guides many mothers to the sacred place. Surely I'm too feeble to remember them all. What are these stone slabs for? These are uh, records. We document all who pass through, uh, their illnesses, treatments, so that the glory of Asclepios can be celebrated. Then I don't need your memory. I just need to find the right stone. Um, yes, of course. That's very wise indeed. If only I had the time to help you. Listen, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just looking for my mother. It's Chrysis. She's got every priest in the sanctuary under her thumb, and she'll squash anyone who feeds information to the eagle bearer. Then don't tell me anything. Just... Bring me to the stone that can. Follow me then. Quickly. We must be discreet. Lead the way. So I don't remember having this armor in the cutscene. This way. Over here. If it looks like the girl from Elden Ring. What kind of sanctuary isn't safe for its priests? Times have changed, Eagle Bear. <laughs> Δέξου την κενή ημών προσφορά. Εκλυπαρούμε του ελαίου σου δια την του ηχθείω προσφορά. Και του χειριστήριου. Είδε του το ευχαριστήσει. Μήνυμα. Α, remember this tale. Written during the time of the great Elod revolt. You would have been only a child. I don't need the history, just the details. It tells the tale of a woman with worms in her throat. Huh? Asclepios took off her head so we could remove them, then reattached it in her sleep. Definitely huh? not the right one. I wonder what Hippocrates would think of these treatments. Hippocrates is a fine healer. Showed so much promise. Showed? He's healing the sick right now. He puts too much faith in his hands and not enough in the gods. When it comes to life and death, I prefer hands. Are all the testimonies so outrageous? Writers today, Thucydides, Evripides, the petulant Aristophanes, all of them try for realism. But what really inspires is greatness, magic, <laughs> This one tells the tale of a man with soul food. A pack of dogs licked him clean, and Eureka, a man's best friend indeed. This is hopeless. These stories give people hope 
When I'm losing mine, tell me about Chrysis. A very powerful, dangerous woman. But it was not always so. She was abandoned here as a child and taken in by the priests. Taught the ways of the gods. She learned uh, very quickly. It was very strong-willed. And uh, before too long, it was the priests who listened to her. She was loved. But there's an anger in her heart that could not be soothed. So, when her methods turned to madness, anyone who opposed her got... Um... Got what? I've already yes. said too much. And what about this one? Let me guess. It tells the tale of a blind woman who had her eyes licked by snakes. It reads... Of Sparta. Came here with child. Sought pity from the gods. Why is most of it scratched out? Oh, uh, I'm... I'll just tell you. I know this one by heart. The Spartan woman arrived filthy and bleeding from her travels. We cared for her, gave her food, a bath, and she left. Where she went, I do not know. The child could not be saved. Who does know where she went? We've been spotted. Meet me later, near the olive tree of Heracles, at the entrance of the sanctuary. I may have something for you. And what do we have here? A priest and a mercenary out for a friendly stroll? May the gods be with you, Plistos. I was just on my way to the archives when this Mystheus bumped into me. Is that so? And what were you both chatting about so fervently, might I ask? Ooh. I'm filthy and could use a good bath. The kind priest here was pointing me in the direction of the bathhouse. Um, yes, that's correct. The bathhouse is right over there. Now, if you'll excuse me. The baths are for healing the sick, not for washing the blood off one's hands. Leave. Hold up. Bro, did I just unlock uh, three different quests within that one quest? Hmm. Alright, let us... Okay, found a way. Okay. I can either kill them one by one... Or flood them with cold water. Huh? How do I flood them with cold water? I cannot, Cassandra. Now this NPC better feed me with info. And? Is the bathhouse free of snakes? Yes. I carved up every single one of those slimy malikes. My babies! What have you done to my babies? Your snakes infested my bathhouse! A sick man is dead because of them! You! You did this! Bro, fuck you. I only did what Milenor told me to do. What? How dare you! I never said kill them! How could you, Milenor? You'll pay for this. I curse you both to Hades. Well? Well what? I took My care money. of the snakes. Now you're going to tell me about the Spartan woman and the baby. <laughs> I actually don't know anything. It was before my time. The man who does know is Mivan, but he won't tell you. He won't tell anyone anything. <laughs> <laughs> Can I kill him? I like your snakes. At least I got a name. Miva. I got 6.5k XP for the silly ass quest. Nice.
What a heck. So many quests. Asclepio spare her from suffering. Will she live? Not unless the gods heed our prayers. Many sick Athenians have arrived in Argolis recently, and very few have left. This poor girl has the same sickness. Yeah. I'm looking for information about a Spartan woman who came through here. I was warned about an eagle bearer, a ruthless killer she was called. Do you think it's wise to deny a ruthless killer the information she desires? Healing the sick is my path. Help me get the attention of the gods, and I tell you what I can. What are you asking, exactly? Her illness seems to have no cure, and it's spreading. Our sacrifices have done little to draw the attention of the gods. Pigs, goats, all have fallen on deaf ears. We need a beast whose blood will ignite these flames for Asclepios to see. Huh? What did you have in mind? There is a rumor of a bull with skin as white as snow roaming the sanctuary outskirts. Head west of here, towards the coast. Bring it to me alive, and we'll offer a sacrifice the gods cannot ignore. Okay. If you're just going to slit its throat, why do you need the bull alive? <laughs> but we're not just going to slit its throat. First, we pour water on its head. If it nods, we may proceed. Gods, mortals, and animals, all must be willing participants in a sacrifice, or it is impure. To save this many people, we will need the beast's blood, bones, and fat. The outskirts are vast. Can you be more specific about the location of the bull? Last I heard, it was grazing on Mount Corifam, near the Asini ruins. Tell me about Chrysis. She has everyone terrified. We taught her everything we knew about healing, about the gods. Then she found new teachers, people in masks. They changed her, turned her heart black. They became her gods. I'll find this bull for you. I need to kill the dad, their leader, or whoever that is. Oh boy, this is gonna be a landy ass quest. Wait, I hope this quest which I'm doing is not a side quest. Yes, not a side quest. This game is actually super fun to play. I uh, asked my friends and they said this is like uh, the favorite Assassin's Creed of many people. I was thinking about buying Mirage. Am I too late? Assassin's Creed Mirage. Okay, my bad. Got to be careful not to get spotted. <laughs> this place is part of some kind of fuckery. Really? And that is a goddamn fucking cow. It looked like he died willingly. I'll take his heart for the sacrifice. It'll have to do. Hold up. Did you find the white bull? Yep. I couldn't bring it back alive. But I did manage to collect its heart. This won't be enough to please Asclepios. The beast died unwillingly. And with just the heart, we'll only be able to pray for one life. Please, Mythios. The white bull you killed was mine. My farm feeds half of Arolis. If I die, people will starve. I did not kill him. I beg you. 
husband was killed by this sickness. I have two small children. Who will take care of them if I die? I am wealthy and will pay you for this blessing. <coughs> it's okay. Give the sacrifice to them. You did this. You choose whose prayers get heard by the gods. The farmer, the wealthy woman. I think the wealthy woman is very fake. She probably have nothing and is lying. And the farmer, I mean, yeah, I don't think the bull was his. The girl. I know what it's like to be small and forsaken. Pray for the girl. You regret this. Not an easy choice, Mistios, but it's been made. The rest is in the hands of the gods. I did my part, priest. The Spartan woman you're after. You've met her? Her visit to the sanctuary is legendary, but sadly, it was before my time. The man you want is Midon, the elder priest. He spoke of her often, that is, before he cut out his tongue. Cut out his tongue? When he's not healing the sick, he's in the guest house. Spends a lot of time being tended to by the servants. Well, I got a call and I, I answered the call you, and I forgot to. I did not watch you help I mean, what they are. I don't even know what I'm saying. I did not forget nothing. I just got a call and I got distracted. I did not hear anything. The priest of Askelipio. That is a lot of XP. So what quest is within my reach? Hmm. Okay. Oh, so low night. One right here. Okay. Another motherfucker right here. One NPC. Another chest. Another NPC. Hey, yo. Guards! They're dead. And you must be Midon. He doesn't speak. So I've heard. I'm here to find out why. Chrysis did this to him. Uh -huh. I thought he did this to himself. To prove his loyalty to her. Now, why would Chrysis want an elder priest to cut out his tongue? Midon is a caring, generous man. I want answers from him, not you. Tell me about the Spartan woman and her baby. He can only answer yes or no. Huh. The Spartan woman, was her name Mirini? Is that a yes or a no? Did she tell you where she was going? 
They said she had the baby with her. Was it hers? The baby was close to death when they arrived. Midon prayed for its life. You saved the child. No. He did everything he could, but the baby was badly wounded. Do all sanctuary priests take their servants to bed? I am not his <laughs> servant. We share a sacred bond. A sacred? Right. I just watched how sacred it was I right now. I know why Chrysis made you cut out your tongue. The night my mother brought my brother here, you and your priests left him for dead. And Chrysis didn't like you telling the story. That's not what happened! What do you know? You're too young to have been there. He told me the story many times before that witch stole his voice. He tried to save the baby, did everything he could. I don't believe you. Dead. How can my baby be dead? I don't know what to tell you. You were lucky he survived as long as he did. That, that fall was devastating. <laughs> my baby. My baby. Listen, there's nothing we can do for you anymore. You'd best be on your way. Ray is here. <laughs> They're gone. They're both gone. He wept for that Spartan woman so far from home. Her baby barely recognizable. Hardly breathing. Tell me what happened. Tell me, please. I need to know. Not even Apollo could save the child. Midon told me how the Spartan woman wept, held the baby in her arms, sang to him, before finally leaving him to the gods. Chrysis took the baby, didn't she? Yes. And she made you cut out your tongue to hide the truth. Yes. Where is Chrysis? There is an altar where people offer their sick babies to be healed. This is where she took the child. Find it near the statue of Apollo Maleatas, and you'll find Chrysis. People come to this sanctuary to heal. But I come here and find people dying without hope, priests without tongues, and babies left with an insane woman. <laughs> My mother was a fool to trust any of you. I'm going to find Chrysis, and she's going to pay for what she's done. Hush, my child. May Ira bless our sacred family. Okay, found it. So Chrysis is the key to oh, finding yo, my whoa. mother. I must hey. find this altar of Apollo Maleatas. Bro, bro. No, I found that. This motherfucker needs to die before I get spotted. They saw me. <gasps> Gotta get out. Alright guys, I think... Hold up, let me check some, some quests first. Access to airship. Okay. Find the girl and the uh, island of misfortune. Okay, so there are three quests we can do, and I think the video is very long now, so I guess I'm gonna go end this video right here. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to show your support and for more content, of course. And yeah, I don't have much to say. So, see you guys in the next video. Until then, Grand Original Game Over signing out. Peace. Oh, my God.